Hi, I'm Mrs. Kendall and I am your child's kindergarten teacher this year. I am so excited for the year to start and I cannot wait to start getting to know your kids. So make sure you bring them for back to school day on Sunday from noon to 4 p.m. I'll be right here in classroom 108. Masks are optional for students in grades kindergarten through second grade, but third grade and up and adults need to wear masks when they enter the building. I wanted to go over some of the items you'll be receiving in your back to school packets, as well as the items your children will be receiving. Now I'm going to make a separate video just for them. So this is for you, and then you can have your kids watch the separate video for the students. The first thing you're going to receive when you come to the classroom is a red folder. This red folder says Mrs. Kendall's Kindergarten on it, and that is where all of your school year information is going to be. Any different website, online resource, information about the school, information about kindergarten for both distance learning and when we're able to return in person is all going to be in this folder. Now, please don't be overwhelmed. It's a lot of information but don't be afraid. This is just put together for you so that you have it all in one place so you know where to refer back one to. One piece of information that I will need back from you is the parent questionnaire. That is the first loose piece of paper listed over on the left-hand side. Please return this piece of paper back with your child's work on our pickup day on Friday. This will help me get to know your student a little bit better so that I know how I can best support you as we go throughout this year. The next thing that you'll be picking up on Sunday is a basket of your child's things for their first week of distance learning. What I'd like you to do when you pick up that basket is please do not have your children go through their paperwork for the school week. What I'd like you to have them do, once you pick that up, I'd like you to take the things out of the envelopes and set them in the bin. This bin is going to stay with you at home so that your child has an easy, convenient place to keep all of their school things and then at the end of the week, you'll put those things back in the envelopes they came in and you'll bring just the envelopes back to school. Now in that bin, you're also going to have a resource card for your child. It's called Kindergarten Learning Tools. That can also stay at home in the bin. I have on that resource tool, uh, the letter formations and number formations, color words, sight words, and your students log in for Class Dojo and our online platform for math called Think Central. So make sure you keep that at home and don't return it back to school. It will be a very useful tool for you. Let's talk about the first day of school on Monday. For the first day of school, I'd like you to try to log into Zoom at about 8.45 a.m. This is so that any kinks that need to be worked out, we have time to work them out. So if you need to call me at the school to support you through it, or if you need help over Class Dojo, we can do that and have everyone logged in by nine. I'm going to ask each family to have their child log in every morning at 8.50 a.m. to the Zoom meeting. In your child's work packets, there is a packet that has a yellow piece of paper that is called morning work. I want your children to be ready, logged in, breakfast done, fed, clothed, ready to learn at 8.50 and their learning environment at home with their morning work. They can be working on that while they're waiting for the Zoom call to start. This is going to help us a lot because our time is very precious over Zoom. We only have an hour in the morning and then a little break and then a second hour for all of our learning. So it's really important that everyone logs in on time. And so to help with that, I'm asking everyone to log in at 8.50 a.m. and begin working quietly so that then at nine we can start our learning together. Because this is our first week of kindergarten and our first week of distance learning, I'm going to need a little bit more support from you at home this week with your child. My goal and intention is that once we get the kids trained in how to use these online tools and resources, it will be very hands-off for you as a parent because I'll be with them on the Zoom screen. But this week, make sure that you stick close by in case anything odd is happening with Zoom or the device crashes until we get your child trained on how to handle those problems. Please make sure you stick within an earshot so that your child is able to holler out for help from you if needed. I have a few things I'd like you to look out for over the first week of distance learning to help me better support you and your child. The first is this. Please let me know how they're doing with being able to sit for that hour long time. We're going to be taking breaks, getting up and down, doing some dances, having some brain breaks. 
So don't worry, your child won't be just sitting and learning for that entire hour block. But I would like to know how, how you feel your child is doing and if there's anything I can do to help support you better in that time. The second thing that I'd like you to look out for is your child's pencil grip. Students often in kindergarten come in holding their pencils in all different kinds of ways. So I'd like you to be looking out for your child's pencil grip. What we like to see is three fingers on the near to the bottom of the pencil where the lead is. Now I have some special pencil grips, so if your child is having trouble holding their pencil correctly, if you could just let me know, I'd be happy to provide your child with a pencil grip to help train their fingers. The third thing I need your support in during this first week of distance learning is making sure that you're talking about school in a positive way. I know that this is a challenging time for us all, but if we set this, the stage for our kids with a positive attitude, they're going to follow our lead. We want to let our kids know that we're united, that we're with them together, and that this school year is going to be an amazing one. As you know from our emails, Bay Christian School is offering several optional on-site sessions for your students. Students do not need to be wearing school uniforms for these on-site sessions. When they are working in the classroom with me, I will take their temperature upon arrival. They will sanitize their hands when entering and then again before they leave. Please make sure that if you haven't done so already, that you sign up for a reading assessment time slot with me, Mrs. Kendall, from BusyBook so that I can assess your student's reading level. I'm asking that all families come in for this assessment time. And then if you would like to participate past this assessment time, I will be organizing kindergarten reading groups in person each week. I'll be giving you some more information at the end of the first week of school after I've completed all student assessments so that I can let you know what the time options are for your student based on their reading level. Don't worry, this won't affect their grades. So if you're not comfortable with them coming in person to school, you don't need to send them. But it is a great resource and tool to make sure our kids are on track and getting the help they need. Reading is one of the most important things that we teach in kindergarten, and I'd love to be able to work with your student in a small group setting. Also, I've asked all families to take care of logging in to their Class Dojo parent account and then setting up their student account. If you need support with this, please feel free to email me. I'd love to help you. Or you can also bring your devices to Back to School Day and I can help you log in in person. Class Dojo is going to be how our class stays connected this school year. We're going to use Class Dojo in a few different ways. First, we're going to use it to stay connected as parents and teacher. Class Dojo has a messaging feature and I have the app right on my phone. So during the business day, I'll have my phone by me so that if you need to message me and get a hold of me quickly, that's the first and best way of contact. If you need to write out something a little bit more lengthy or you prefer email, you can email me as well at brielle at baybulldogs.com. The second way we're going to be using Class Dojo this school year to stay connected is by tracking your students' behavior. Even though we're apart, I'm still going to be helping to support your family by training your kids in good habits that make a good student, a good citizen, and a good friend. On Class Dojo, I'll be giving your students points based on their behavior over our Zoom calls. They can receive two different kinds of points. The first is a positive point to reinforce and praise their good behavior that they're showing. The second point is a point that needs work. This is something that they need to maybe stop and pause and think about and correct so that they can learn and do better the next time. If they receive this point, you don't need to worry. It's just my way of letting you know, hey, your student's been having a hard time paying attention on our calls, and then that way you can help support me by having that conversation and maybe giving me any feedback to an insight into your child as to maybe how I can help better support them in those moments. So remember, we're always a team and we're in it together. You'll often hear me refer to these points on Class Dojo as praise points or think points. Praise points are those positive points that I'm praising them for their good choices. Think points are the points that say need work. Those are times and opportunities for us to take a step back, think about choices, and then choose to make a better one in the future. I'll be teaching your kids all about Class Dojo and the points they can earn. At the end of each school week, they'll also be working towards earning a reward with their behavior. 
I monitor this through their class dojo points. I'll be letting your students know all about this system and what they're working towards each week. In our distance learning weeks, your child is going to need access to a device that can connect to the internet. They'll need a device that has both a camera and a microphone. This is so that they can participate in our live Zoom calls. If you're in need of a device, we have iPads at the school that we'd be happy to check out to you. Just email me and let me know if you need an iPad and also if you need a charger for the iPad. I'd be happy to have that ready for you on Sunday. Compassion International partners with thousands of churches around the world to release children from poverty in Jesus' name. They do this through child sponsorship. Sponsorship provides children with food, clothes, medical attention, clean drinking water, education, and a connection to a local church. Bay Christian School partners with Compassion by sponsoring one new child each year. This child will stay with the class as they go throughout each grade. Meet Leanne, our class's Compassion Child. You can help in our school sponsorship of Leanne by donating $2 a month towards her sponsorship fees. This is a great way to teach our kids how to care for others with giving hearts. What can they do around the house to earn $2 for their Compassion student? Let them be a part of the process and the whole experience will be so much more meaningful to them. Thank you so much for partnering with me this school year. I can't wait to see you on Sunday.